The internet's running out of space. I heard this on a radio report about a week ago, and when I heard it, my nerd side went, what? The internet's huge, how can it ever run out of space? That's the thing though, it's so huge that it's almost become overpopulated and almost has no more space left. It's true, the system that currently helps you navigate through the various faculties of the internet, known as the IP address or IPv4 system, is almost out of space and is scheduled to be depleted by 2010. First, what's running out is not the URL addresses or the web links that you click in or type, such as YouTube.com, Facebook.com, MySpace.com, or anything like that. What's running out are the IP addresses. Well, in 1977, when the internet was first created and was only a little blip on the radar of new technology, they only created a system that could hold about 4.2 billion addresses. The internet runs out of space, nothing new will happen, and it'll just, the internet will just stop. The internet will still exist, but there will be nothing new on it ever again if they don't change the system now. Let's fast forward. It's 2020. It's been 10 years since the internet stopped producing new material. Now, people still have computers and stuff, but nothing new has been on for 10 years. The internet will be completely useless. I mean, it'll be a whole bunch of web pages about Miley Cyrus and MySpace, which has been dead for 10 years, and Facebook, and is nobody will want to use it anymore. They can maybe look up information, but they can't make new information. Do you understand this? So recap, no more IP addresses, no more websites, no evolution of the internet. Internet dies, not a good thing. Capiche? Okay, the old system, the IPv4 system, being the size of, let's say, a golf ball in comparison to the IPv6 system, which is coming out now, and that is the size of the sun. That's, that's a huge, I mean, unfathomable number of golf balls that can fit inside the sun. Let me do the math for you. The old system is comprised of 32 bits, and it can hold about 4.2 billion addresses. The new system is comprised of 128 bits, and can hold approximately 3.4 times 10 to the 38th power addresses. Do you understand that? No, you probably don't. So let me give it some value. That number looks like this. Now this number is approximately equal to 340 trillion trillion trillion, give or take a few decimal places. And, and, and no, I wasn't saying trillion just for dramatic effect. The actual name for this number is 340 undecillion. Have you ever even heard of an undecillion? Allow me to try and demonstrate. I divided 340 undecillion by the number of people on Earth to try and see how many websites each person on Earth would be able to create if they really ever wanted to. That number is still this large. It may not look that much smaller, it really is, but it, it looks huge still, and I understand that. That's 50 octillion websites for every person on Earth. Do the math yourself. It's huge. And so what I did, I thought maybe, maybe I can take the number of hairs on a human head times every person on the Earth and then put that into how many websites for every person's every hair. Now the average number of hairs on a human head is about 100,000. I multiplied that times the number of people on the earth, 6.8 billion, to try and get some bigger number to try and divide. I still got 500 sextillion. That's, I don't, that's like 21 zeros. It's, I, I can't even find a number of anything that is relatively close to how many websites there are. Basically, think about it like this. There's probably more potential IP addresses in this new system than there are grains of sand on the earth. Now that your head is turned to mush because I'm pounding all these numbers into your head, just understand that the old system is running out of IP addresses and the new system is gonna create cubajillions more. So basically make as many web pages as you want, people, because this system should be implemented by 2010. And it should not even affect you at all. You shouldn't even notice it happening. This entire subject is probably something you've never even thought about, but it's something that affects our daily lives. If the internet went down because it couldn't create anything new, the, our lives would be completely affected for probably a year or more until they finally decided to get something new up. The internet is so pivotal in our society. We use it every day. It's on our phones, on our computers. People use it for trade and business and just basic communication. If it shut down, our society would just 
go haywire. You know how we went crazy for Y2K? It's bas that's basically what would happen if this new system didn't come in. I'd really like to see what some of you think, so please leave me a video response or a comment in the comment section down below telling me what you would do if the internet shut down. So Earth, what would you like for Christmas next year? Wait, you want, you want 340 undecillion IP addresses? Well, you're in luck. They're making a new system just for that. So Merry Christmas. Thank you.